A few things you may want to know about when it comes to customizing your interface in Excel is that you can actually change the colors here instead of having a blue ribbon here. You can change that to one of two other colors, either silver or black. But note that when you do change it, it's going to change any other Office programs that you have. Like if I have Word, PowerPoint, it'll update those so those are also in black. It's not proprietary to what application program you're currently in. For example, I'll click on the Office logo button, come down and click on Excel Options. On the popular category, which is defaulted, I'll come down here and look at color scheme, and I'll click on the arrow and change it to black, and then click OK, and now it's in black. Not only is Excel in black, but if I click on the Start button and I open up Word, Word's also in black. So again, this is going to affect all your Office programs. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Word and come back to Excel here. I'm going to change the color back to blue in just a second, but before we do that, the other options you have is, for example, when you hover over any one of these buttons, it gives you a little screen tip plus the feature of that screen tip or what the format painter is all about. You can turn those off if you'd like, and to do so, it's in the same section. Just click on the Office logo button, come down to Excel Options. First, we'll change the color scheme back to blue, and then down here where it says Screen Tip, right now it's showing the screen tips and the features of the tips here, in other words, the description. So if I click on the drop down arrow and I say look don't show any screen tips or how about if you just show me the tip but not the description. So when I click on it, select it and click OK. Now when I hover over Format Painter, by the way the ribbon's back to blue now, it just gives me the name of the feature there, Format Painter. It doesn't give me the description about what the Format Painter is used for or what it can do. We'll go back and change that in just a second but I want to show you another feature here. Anytime I click in a cell and let me double click to get my cursor inside the cell and I do some typing here of any numbers or text and then I select it. The moment I select it you see that little faded toolbar up at the top here when I move in and out over it. Well that mini toolbar you can also turn off so anytime you select text or numbers in this case it'll pull up when you hover over it and to get rid of that let me go ahead and hit escape first so I can get out of that cell. The escape key on the keyboard and then click on the office logo button come down to Excel options and we're back in the same section here. So I'm going to uncheck Show Mini Toolbar in Selection, so anytime I select text or numbers, it's not going to pull up. I'm going to change this back to show both the feature descriptions and the screen tip there, and then click OK. So I can hover over my Format Painter. It gives me the screen tip and the feature description. Also, when I double click in the cell and I start typing some numbers, and I click and drag to select it, and I hover up at the top, that Mini Toolbar doesn't come up. So I got rid of that. I'm going to hit Escape on the keyboard and pop out of the cell. And then finally you can hide the ribbon here. In other words, if you need more space, you want to see more of your cells down below, just go to the Active tab and double click on it to collapse the ribbon. And then you can do your thing. Now when you need the ribbon again, like let's say I wanted to format a cell here, B for bold, or do any type of formatting that requires me to activate the ribbon, just click on the Home tab in this case, and then select B for bold, and once you click it and activate it, the ribbon collapses again, so it's not in your way. It'll keep collapsing when you're finished with activating a feature. Now if you want it to permanently stay up, then it's the same thing. Double click to collapse it, double click to permanently pull it up. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.